Hello there. So today is August 1st, and that means there are plenty of LEGO releases. According to a few thumbnails I have seen, there are over 90, over 100 LEGO sets coming out today, which is crazy, but a lot of them are overpriced. They're very expensive sets. Some of them aren't even overpriced. They're just plain expensive. I don't think they're the sort of sets that me or you will be picking up, so there's no point going over them. I have picked the 10 best LEGO sets coming out today. Not only will this mean it's a much shorter video, but also means I can talk about them in a bit more detail. They're not all Star Wars. We've got Marvel. We've got a Sonic set. We've even got an Animal Crossing set. So I think we can get straight into it. And the first set we'll be looking at is none other than Ahsoka Tano's Duel on Peridia. The big question with this set isn't whether to get it or not. If you're a fan of the Ahsoka show, you'll probably be picking this up at some point. But the big question is, how much do you pick it up for? Five minifigures, that £50 is justified, if not only in the minifigures, because the build itself looks like, it looks like my first Ahsoka mock here on this channel, where I built the other side of the whole Peridia trip, where they jump to get to Peridia. What I think LEGO should have done here is just had a platform and then a staircase on the outside which leads down to a lower level, perhaps have some doors that slide open or perhaps that's where they can add a jumping feature for the Night Trooper. £50 for these five minifigures is amazing, especially when you're considering that all five of these are exclusive. That being said, the T6 did come with four at the time exclusive minifigures. Sabine is going to be available in the Lego Star Wars magazine next month and Ahsoka is going to be available in the advent. So I wonder how long before we see Thrawn in a microfighter Chimera or Ezra in next year's advent. Star Destroyer is a great set anyway and spoiler alert might make the top 10 for today. It is a bit pricey but the value is definitely there but I'd have preferred if the Star Destroyer come with Thrawn and Ezra from this set and they could have included Enoch and three Night Troopers with that to make up the six minifigure lineup and then we've got Cal Kestis as the bonus minifigure but I'm not saying add three Night Troopers but add two Night Troopers and a Night Death Trooper which we see two dueling with Sabine and Ezra. People want Ahsoka and the new Elsbeth which only has the updated face printing so bear that in mind when you're looking at these characters because I also have a custom Ahsoka the White. So the big grabs for this set are that new Ezra and Thrawn. Thrawn, amazing minifigure. We'll get more on that in a second. Peridia could then come with Ahsoka. We could get Elsbeth as well. Another great minifigure that they've included. Probably also get Sabine. If you aren't in the UK, I'll try to pick up a few of them to add to the Bricklink store. But I can make no promises because I'm still waiting to try and find the Vader Tin magazine. And then with this, we could have also got two Night Troopers, one of which being the regular Night Trooper, and you guessed it, one of which being another Death Trooper. Thrawn is just the perfect minifigure for his return. Black hair over blue, like we see in the show, is a bit more accurate. Rebels animation style, I feel, makes it look a bit more blue because of the lighting and because of his skin tone in Rebels them piercing red eyes and dual molded legs. I am so happy we finally got another character in Star Wars with dual molded legs. It's not the first by any means, but it's definitely not as common as it should be. Just look at all the Rebel Troopers we're getting without dual molded legs. That is just set one of the 10 here. Let's move swiftly on to the second set. It's a surprise for many. We're staying with the Star Wars theme right now, the creative play droid builder. In fact, I do have Chopper built here behind me. And I'll be honest, Chopper is the only reason this set makes the list. Leia, it's a free minifigure. You can't really weigh that up in your decision. And it's going to be a lot cheaper to get Leia later on on places like Bricklink and Brick Owl. But Chopper is amazing. And we could get a bigger scout next year. This could be a teaser to see how well it sells. But playing with this thing, especially the rubber wheel at the front, it makes it behave like an actual droid. This is going to be a downside for the other three droids because there's no rubber connection to the ground. So they're just going to be skidding all over the place. But this set is honestly worth it for Chopper. If you can afford that price, if you've got perhaps two, four people to split the droids between, or you know some LEGO fans would really love getting some of the other droids for a special occasion or just to divvy up the price, then I definitely recommend picking up Chopper. And you can see my video for a few modifications I make, including giving him 
explosives, which perhaps was not a good idea, adding some other accessories to the front of all the droids and also giving Chopper a rocket launcher, yes? We gave him a rocket launcher and let him fly around the screen for a few minutes. Staying with the droids, we have the fourth most expensive set in the list, C-3PO, because I think the design of C-3PO is amazing. Now, it's a hefty price tag, it's a big C-3PO, and perhaps it would have been nice to have seen a midi-scale C-3PO. Perhaps we'll get a protocol droid builder set next year with a scale to match the R2 and chopper droids that are coming out also today. But if you can save up, if you've already got R2-D2 and you can save up for birthday, for Christmas, or just generally save a bit to the side and buy it C-3PO, I think this is an amazing display piece and it actually goes well with the Chewbacca too and again it's an expensive set but it's definitely worth its weight in gold. I think we'll get the most expensive set out of the way first we'll head over to Marvel for a bit there's another Star Wars set or two coming up and this is for the Guardians of the Galaxy Milano I think this is another great set again expensive but if you've got the money if you've got the savings and if you've got the previous iterations honestly if money was not an issue i would have picked up all three of these sets because i love the guardians movies and these ships look like they're pulled straight from the trilogy there are quite a few expensive sets this august i feel like normally we have a few cheaper sets so let's whack a cheaper one in the mix from marvel again we've got thor versus Surtar. Now, you may be wondering why I'm so interested in this set. There is no build, which I tend to complain about for a few other. It's just a construction figure, which I have a history of not liking. Thor, and then you've got Aunt Beru and Uncle Owen in there as well. But I am going to be looking to pick up this set, and I am going to be making a mock of it. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm giving away no spoilers but this is actually a really cool set. Next up, we have the next line of the Spielberg diorama, similar to the Jurassic Park one and the Indiana Jones one. We've moved on to Jaws. So at this point, Steven Spielberg basically has his own Lego theme in these dioramas. Jaws, it does look pretty cool. Personally, not a massive fan of Jaws. I haven't seen the movie all the way through, so I'm not gonna feel as attached to this, but I think as a display piece, especially because you can display the shock jumping out of the water or by itself on its own stand. I think that's a really cool feature and I'd love to see that for a few other Lego sets. Not all the sets here are above that £50 price mark. I think there's about a third of them that aren't, but on to Jedi Bob Starfighter. The price again is going to be an issue for some people. We can get Kenobi's Starfighter for £30, which not only comes with Kenobi and the droid for the ship, but also comes with a Kaminoan, which is a highly desired minifigure. And you know what isn't going to be a highly desired minifigure? An Admiral Akbar clone trooper. I mean, it's cool. It's funny. I've got one on my clone display because it is just a funny figure. And perhaps this will make a bit more sense when we watch the show. But the problem is there's only one of Akbar. Two if you're counting Aftab from the sequel trilogy. But so far, we only know the one Akbar in Lego. And it's not a very good clone army if there's just one of them. So again, hopefully in the show we get some more information about that instead of just giving the clones Geonosian heads, which I think would be amazing, especially when that Demogorgon torso is so easily available in the key ring. But the set does come with Jedi Bob and the Akbar Trooper and Servo Gonk Droid, which again, I do have Servo sat on my desk because these are really cool figures. In fact, I even have a custom Jedi Bob on my display. So I'll probably not be trying to get this set too early on, but if it enters a sale, we're looking 25 pound at the cheapest. I'll definitely be picking it up. And over the next couple of days, I have basically a week packed with reviews. We've got that set that you've all been waiting for tomorrow. And then Sunday, we've got another retired set being reviewed. And then two days later, we have another very special set that you will not want to miss. But we've still got three sets to go and I think I'll get the Sonic one out of the way. For anyone that's been waiting around for it, we have Super Sonic versus the Egg Drill Star. First off, £70. That is a lot of money. But this Drill Star reminds me of the Power Miners Drill. I think Power Miners have recently resubmerged in Ninjago with the little rock monsters. Well, they're not so little anymore in Ninjago. This egg drill stoke reminds me so much of a set I used to play with when I was young. And that is the reason I will be picking this up in a sale. Perhaps sometime next year, I will have it to review here on the channel. And I'll also be able to add not only Shadow, 
But Dr. Eggman and Golden Sonic to my ever-growing Sonic minifigure collection. The only thing I need to pick up now is that Knuckles mech. The penultimate set is, of course, the Animal Crossing one, KK's concert at the Plaza. I think this is a really fun Animal Crossing set. So I have reviewed two here on the channel before. We looked at Isabel's house visit and we also had the camping one with the really cool play features. And recently I actually parted out Julian's birthday party for the Bricklink store. This set not only comes with KK, you're also getting the hub of the island, which I haven't played this game enough to know too much about it, but it's a really cool set nonetheless. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, I definitely recommend checking it out. And the last set, that I will be talking about today, you've heard it earlier, is the Imperial Star Destroyer. This reminds me of a cross between, I think it was Snoke's Supremacy and the 2012-ish Republic Veneta because I built the Veneta, I didn't build the First Order ship. It was way too much money for me to be spending on a sequel trilogy set. This is amazing. The carry handle is hidden when it's on display, that is perfect. It also opens up to reveal quite a detailed interior with a bridge at the front, similar to the one you could create for the Veneta playset as well. And check out my review if you haven't seen that because they're still a pretty good set in today's standards. The minifigures for this 150 pound, there's definitely an argument that there should be some more minifigures. We want this set to be absolutely packed up. It comes with Vader, it comes with an officer in a black uniform one in a grey uniform, a gunner, a technician and a stormtrooper. Perhaps a few more stormtroopers would have been welcome here. It would have also been cool to have seen the return of the Palpatine hologram piece as well in this set. But for £150, I definitely think this beats some of LEGO's previous sets at this price. I'm not going to say any names. But let me know down in the comments what you're excited for coming out today. Are you picking up anything day one? Or like me, are you going to be building some of the older sets from LEGO that you can pick up for a bit cheaper elsewhere? Thank you so much for watching. Check out all the videos on screen now. And may the bricks be with you always.